Hi everyone in the world, Yahoo Minna Mochi Sensei desu. On this video, I'm gonna teach you 12 useful phrases you should know before traveling to Japan. So many of you guys ask me to do this kind of video, so here it is. And when I went to Germany, I regretted not studying any German. It's quite important and respectful to at least learn the basic phrases before traveling. So avoid any regrets when coming to Japan. Be sure to remember the phrases I teach you today. So let's get started. Hajime yo. Number one. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Simply means hello, and I think most of you guys already heard of this phrase, konnichiwa. But I do want to point it out about pronunciation because many of you guys say it konnichiwa, emphasis on ni for some reason, like konnichiwa. But Japanese has like same tempo. There are five syllables, konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Repeat after me, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Perfect. Number two. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. I believe you guys are gonna stay at the hotel. When you enter or leave the hotel in the morning, please say this to reception. Ohayo gozaimasu. Casual way to say it is Ohayo. But don't say this to a person you have never met. We only say Ohayo to close people like friends or family. Repeat after me. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Good job. Number three. Good evening. Konbanwa. We Japanese people start to say this around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. when the sun goes down and start to get dark. There's no exact time to start saying konbanwa, but you guys know what I mean, right? Again, repeat after me. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Perfect. Number four. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. This is really, really important to say. It's something that I think you all should know before coming to Japan. Again, about the pronunciation, many people tend to say arigato or arigato gozaimasu. But each character has same length, okay? Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Like this. So don't emphasize ga like arigato like this. It's arigato gozaimasu. And sometimes when you leave the restaurant or somewhere, for example, they will say arigato gozaimashita. Mashita is a past tense that is usually said at the end of the conversation, never at the beginning. And you also can say arigato gozaimashita. For example, if you ask for help in finding directions and that person helps you out, then you can say arigato gozaimashita at the end because it's after that person has helped you. You can just say arigato gozaimasu even after someone helped you. It doesn't really matter. Repeat after me. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. All right. And to that, arigato gozaimasu. Number five, you can say, you're welcome. Dou itashimashite. But when you actually come to Japan, you'll hear a variety of responses such as, Ie, Ie, Ie. Daijoubu desu. Zen zen. I often use ie ie. It's nice and polite, like ie ie. No, no, you don't even have to thank to me. Ie ie. So just choose your favorite one and use it. For now, let's repeat the proper one. Do itashimashite. Do itashimashite. Great job. Number six. Excuse me. Sumimasen. This is another valuable phrase to learn. Very, very useful. For example, when you want to ask, Excuse me, how much is this? Sumimasen. 
これはいくらですかこれ is this and how much is いくらですかすみませんこれはいくらですか Excuse me, how much is this? Or when you're at the restaurant, it's common to get waiter's attention by saying, すみませんすみませんはい。So, like in noisy izakaya in Japan, it's really noisy. Like everyone is talking, and so you raise your hand and shout, Sumimasen! And they will notice that you want to order something. Don't be afraid, just say Sumimasen in Japan, okay? But for example, in like really fancy, quiet, expensive restaurant, in that case, you don't say like this. But if you just do eye contact or a little bit like Then they will notice that you want something. So, yeah, it's case by case, but normally, restaurant or izakaya, somewhere like that, you say, Sumimasen, or excuse me. Also, when you bump into someone accidentally, use Sumimasen, or apologize. It's a very useful phrase. Please repeat after me Sumimasen. Sumimasen. Good job. Number seven, please. お願いします For example, when you go to a shopping and you want Japan t shirt and they have small size, medium size, and large size. You want a large size, then just say L size お願いします which means large size, please. Or in a cafe, コーヒーお願いします You say the object first and then お願いします。Repeat お願いします。お願いします。Perfect! Number eight, yes, はい。And number nine, no, いいえ。These are just simply yes and no in Japanese. Hai and ie. And we learned nine phrases so far. And we can order something already. Yay! So let's try it. コーヒーをお願いします。サイズはどうしますかトールサイズお願いします。トールサイズのコーヒー一つですね。はい。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。And from now, here are phrases that I found helpful on my trip. Number 10. Where is the. Wa doko desu ka? So, place wa doko desu ka is how you say it. For example, o te arai wa doko desu ka? O te arai means toilet. Well, you can just say toile wa doko desu ka? But it's too direct. Like in English, you guys also say bathroom. Where's the bathroom or where's the restroom, I think?、Um, it's like that. It's kind of formal way to say toilet is o te arai. So let's remember this word instead of toile. O te arai wa doko desu ka? Or Shinjuku eki wa doko desu ka? 出口はどこですか This 出口 is really useful because when you come to Tokyo Station or Shinjuku Station, it's huge. It's really huge. Now, I live in Japan, but I always get lost because it's impossible. Like, there's hundreds of exits. So, it's really useful if you know this phrase 出口はどこですか And number 11, this one also something you should know. Plastic bag. Fukuro 
If you go to a konbini or supermarket, when you need a bag, you have to say this or else、um, they're not gonna give you the bag. So say, Fukuro onegai shimas. Plastic bag, please. Fukuro onegai shimas. In Japan, plastic bag is about 3 yen, 3 yen.、Um, depends on the size. Sometimes they're gonna ask you the size, so just say S size. M size or L size, like this. Repeat after me. Fukuro onegai shimas. Fukuro onegai shimas. Alright. Last one. And. To. And. To. Kore to. Kore to. Kore. Onegai shimas. This and this and this, please. When you go to shopping or ordering food, this particle is really useful. To. Simply and is to in Japanese. In Spanish, it's e, right? So let's say you wanna say hamburger and french fries and coke, please. In Japanese, it's gonna be hamburger to potato to cola onegai shimasu. These 12 phrases are the ones you should definitely have in your mind. Some of them might sound familiar to you. It's not that complicated. So, before going to Japan, please watch this video again and aim to at least be able to say these phrases in Japanese. If you have any requests for videos like this, please write on a comment. And thank you for watching till the end. I hope this video will help you. And don't forget to subscribe and push like button. And see you guys in the next video. Bye! またねー